In today's video, we're going to be working on how to write fractions as decimals. You have two different ways to do it. I'm going to show you how the two different ways are. You can do one by division and you can do one by multiplication. You can go ahead and do whatever's easiest for you. I'm still going to show you both, okay? So for the division part, it says divide the numerator by the denominator and round if needed, okay? So an example, okay, the average weight of a golf club is three-fifths pounds. Write the weight as a decimal. So we're going to go and say it's three-fifths. And we're going to write three-fifths as a decimal. So we're, gonna, we're going to write three-fifths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of ten. So we're going to go ahead and do three-fifths. Okay, so I'm going to do it three-fifths. And we're going to go ahead and use base 10 fractions. So we're going to multiply. You're going to figure out what number you can multiply 5 to get 10. So you're going to multiply 5 times 2 to get to 10. And then whatever is on the bottom, you also have to do it on the top. So you go ahead and do 3 times 2 is 6. And then 5 times 2 is 10. So when you do that, it gives you 6 over 10, which if you write it as a decimal, it's going to go ahead and give you 0 0.6 or 0 0.60. Okay. Now, the way we go ahead and do it for the division part is we go ahead and divide, like I said, the numerator by the denominator and round it if we need it. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put the, this fraction is going to be less than a whole so our decimal is going to be less than a whole because we have 5 so we're going to put 5 divided by 3 okay so how many 5 groups of 5 can I go ahead and put into 3 you can't because 3 is smaller than 5 so 5 doesn't go to 3 so we're going to extend the division so when we extend it, we're going to put a decimal here, put a decimal here, and we're going to put zero. So then we're going to say, okay, how much now does five go into 30? Five goes into 30 six times. So we have five times six is going to be 30. So 30 minus 30 is going to be zero, okay? And it's going to be 0.6. It's going to be the same, so you get to choose what way you want to go ahead and do it. As you saw, when you multiply by base 10, you got 0 0.60. When you divide, you also got 0 0.6, 0 0.60. In this example, we're going to use 8 over 25. Okay, So you know right away, we cannot use base 10 because it's more than 10. So we're going to use base 100 for the fraction. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and write... 825 goes to 825. And we need to figure out one number. Can we multiply 25 to get to the base 100? So we're going to multiply by 4 because 25 times 4 is 100. Whatever we do on the bottom, don't forget you need to do that on the top as well. So now when you do that, you're going to do 8 times 4, and 8 times 4 is 32. And then you do 25 times 4, which is 100. So your decimal is going to be 0.32, because you're going to move it two spaces to your left. Okay. Now we're going to go and do the division way. Divide the numerator by the denominator and round it if needed. So we're going to put 25 divided by as you can see 25 does not go into 8 so we're going to extend the division and once again decimal here decimal and we're just going to add a zero so 25 goes into 80 three times so 25 times 3 is 75 it's going to give us 5 another zero and another zero 
So then 25 goes into 50 2 times. So now we have 25 times 2 is 50. That is 0. And it's going to give you the same thing as 0.32 as it gave, as it gave us when we used the base 100. In this example, we have 5 over 20. You know we cannot use the base 10 fractions because it's more than 10. So we're going to use the base of 100. So we're going to go ahead and do the multiplication first. So what number can you go ahead and multiply 20 to get 100? So 20 times 5 is going to give you 100. So that whatever you do on the bottom, you also have to do that on the top. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 5 times 5 is going to give us 25. And then we have 20 times 5 is going to be 100. So our decimal is going to be 0.25. We move it 1 and 2 places. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do also the division. Wait, divide the numerator by the denominator and round if needed. So you're going to go ahead and write 20 on the outside and then 5 in the inside. 20 cannot go into 5, so we're going to extend the division by adding a decimal, zero. 20 goes into 50 two times. So it's going to be 40 minus 10. 20 does not go to 10, so we're going to put another zero. Bring it down. So 20 goes into 100 five times. So it's going to be 100. 100 minus 100 is going to be zero. As you can see, you get the same answer if you do it multiplication or if you do it division. In this problem here, you have 9 and 10. Here you already have a base 10 fractions, so you really don't have to do nothing to this problem already. So right here, you're going to just right away, you know that it's going to be 90 or just 0.9, which is going to be the same. You don't I have a suggestion to go ahead and do divide the numerator by the denominator and run if needed because you already have a base 10. I have here three examples that you can go ahead and pause the video right now and can go ahead and try to do these problems by yourself and then come back and try to see if you did everything the right way. Like I said, you can go ahead and do it by multiplications or by division, whatever you think is easiest for you. And don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Okay? For these three problems, I feel more comfortable doing a multiplication because for me, I think it's faster. So I'm going to go ahead and do these three problems now for multiplication. You can go ahead and check after I'm done. So I have to go ahead and look for base here of 100. So I'm going to have to multiply this 25 times 4 to get to 100. So whatever I do on the bottom, I have to do that on the top as well. So I'm going to go ahead and have 8 over 100. So it's going to give me decimal point zero 0.08. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this problem here for 15 over 20. I have to go ahead and look what's going to be my base and it's going to be 100. So what can I multiply 20 to get to 100? It's going to be 5. So whatever you do on the bottom, don't forget, you need to do that also on the top. So 20 times 5 is going to give you 100. Now you're going to multiply 15 times 5. So it's going to give you 75, which is going to be 0.75 as your decimal the bottom you have two fifths I'm gonna go ahead and use the base 10 fraction so I'm gonna go ahead and multiply that and try to figure out what can I multiply 5 by to get to 10 so I'm gonna multiply 5 times 2 which is gonna go ahead and give me 10 but don't forget whatever you do on the bottom you also have to do it on the top so 2 times 2 is 4 and then we have 5 times 2 is 
10. So your decimal is going to be 0.4 or you can write it as 0.40. So hopefully you went ahead and did this already and check if you got it correct. If you use the multiplication way and if you got the division way, if you didn't get 0 0.08 for this problem, 0.75 and then 0.40 or 0.4, you can go ahead and retry doing it and see how you can get it the right way. And don't forget that if you have friends that need help with right fractions as decimal, don't forget to share it and share it with your friends or family members or anyone that you think that needs the help. And thank you again for watching.